House slipping can be extremely fun. It can be really challenging and you can lose your shirt in a minute. And you don't want to be walking around without a shirt. I'm Rob Bridges. I flipped over 500 houses. I've done over 100 houses in a single year and I've made every mistake on the planet. But I'm going to share with you the one thing we can control because you can't control everything in the house flipping business. You can't control the sale price. You can't control the renovations. There's always going to be little hidden things. But what we can control is the house we purchase and how we find it. So here are my five tips to find the right house and how to get it. So here we're going to start with number one. People need to know that you buy houses. So you know those annoying signs that they look like they made in crayon and they stuck on a telephone pole? Uh, we buy houses cheap. Well, those work. But there's other methods too. I'm not saying to go fill your neighborhood with signs, but you can. You can go on your local Craigslist, Kijiji, Facebook, all these places. You can stick flyers in people's door, that sort of thing. But people need to know that you buy houses. But be prepared. You're going to get a lot of people calling you and they want you to pay full price. They don't get it. You have to be clear. I'm an investor. You can't be scared to say that. I'm an investor. I don't pay top dollar. I will not pay top dollar. And if they start to get offended, don't worry about it. That's going to lead into tip number two. So number two is going to involve some self-reflection because it's going to be fear. I know you hear fear all the time, but to this day, it still comes into my brain and it can influence your purchase price. How? How does that happen? Well, you have to be able to knock on doors. You see a rundown property in a neighborhood, you have to go knock on the door and say, hey, I want to buy your house. What if they want too much? What if it's an estate sale and you got five emotional kids saying, we want 100000 because blah, blah, blah. You have to only pay what it's worth. You have to set your price. You have to be able to make low offers in front of these people. You're going to have to go check with your lawyer, the city, notaries, whoever can find out who owns a property. There's so many aspects here that fall into this. You have to break through the fear of dealing with uh, family members, sellers that are emotional because you cannot pay more than the house is worth. You cannot. You don't want to start this out on the wrong foot. Don't be scared to call your local city, lawyers, notaries, find out who owns a property. People are going to go, why? Why do you want to know? Why? What's going on? You're, you'll see, but push through that. Push through it. So number three, get your shirt together. That's code. I don't really want to swear. I know people do it, but I don't want to do it. Don't push me. Okay. But here's where we're going with this. You have to have everything together. I have gotten so many houses over the years because when I walk into a house and I like it, I buy it on the spot. I either write the offer with the people right there or I put the offer in in my truck outside, send it to the other agent within minutes. If you think you found the house of your dreams and you're so excited and you're going to think, oh, well, I better get Uncle Bob in here tomorrow or the next day to check it out. I should go check if I can get financing. I should get a home inspection. That's not going to work because guys like me, we know what we're doing. We're ready. We have everything all lined up before we even walk into the house. We see it. We buy it on the spot. So if you want to truly get into house flipping and be successful, you have to have your shirt together before you even go looking for properties because you could be driving home on a Sunday from the beach and you get a phone call. Hi, uh, Bob, Joanne, and Julie, uh, we're three kids. We want to sell mom's house. We're here right now. We're leaving tomorrow to go back to all our cities. Can you come now? And you get there. If that house fits, you have to buy it right there. You can't wait. You can't bring Uncle Bob. You have to have your shirt together and get it done then. Because guys like me, other flippers, people who know what they're doing are going to come in. And when you come back to do your home inspection, the key's not going to fit. So have your shirt together. So number four, I think of Bobby Orr because I'm a Bruins fan. But number four is you need to have a very good real estate agent or be a real estate agent yourself. Because when hot properties come up on your MLS cut sheet or hot sheet or whatever they are, generally the real estate agent in your community. Every city is different, but your agents usually get to see houses 24 to 48 hours before they hit the public. 
So if you don't have an agent that's checking for you every day what your price range is, what your area is, you're going to miss it every time. Unless you're an agent, and if you are a real estate agent and you want to be the house flipper, you have to get up every morning, 7 to 8 a.m., and you have to track houses. I personally have a sheet on almost every house in the entire city. I would follow houses on MLS daily. So if repos would get posted, I would see them because I'm an agent 24 hours before anybody else would see them, and I'm seeing them at 7 a.m. So early bird gets the worm. Well, I don't know if it's the early bird, but whoever's early to the MLS or the agent is early to the MLS and letting you know, they get the worm. I'm going to word this. I hope it doesn't come off offensive, but there's areas where there's older people in your city, and there's areas that are filled with all new people, families. Generally, the younger families don't have their houses paid for, that sort of thing. So if you get areas and you can track by subdivision or area in your MLS system or have your agent track areas, you can track houses in those areas and watch prices come down. Psychology of houses, and every agent will confirm this, that if a house is on MLS, after two or three, four months, people don't even see it anymore. Even house flippers, even the professionals can overlook it. They'll, they'll scan through all the houses because they've seen it so many times. So you got to break that little bit of a mold. And if you have a little track sheet of your own where you hand write it or type it or whatever's comfortable to you, you'll see 123 Smith Street is owned by, you can tell it's an older name. I hope this isn't offensive, but it is, it's the truth. Uh, and it was at 199. It went to 189, 179, 169, 159. After that house has been on the market for five or six months, that person and the family are ready for an offer. But other agents are skimming over it. They're just skimming right over that picture of that house because they've seen it for months. But you're going to go over your sheet and you're going to compare. So don't overlook old listings in areas where it's an older generation. I really, I'm not trying to be offensive, but those people want to sell too. And those houses need renovations and they will take offers after six or seven months. In a way, you're kind of doing them a favor. <laughs> I Don't hate me for number four, but that's the truth. So number five is the first four. Remember, we need people to know we're buying houses, can't have fear to make low offers. We got to have our stuff together. Uh, you got to have a good agent and a tracking system or be an agent. And number five is the only thing we can control in the house flipping business is the purchase price. And you cannot get emotionally involved in a house. You cannot overpay. Don't imagine you met your woman of your dreams and you're traveling everywhere and she hasn't even returned your text. You cannot cannot get emotionally involved in a property, picking everything. You know how it's, it's, I'm like a crackhead for houses. I love houses. I love designing them, but you can't let your brain go there until you own it. Do not overpay for a house. Do your budget and stick to it. If you don't get it, walk away. Those are my five tips on getting off on the right foot, getting the right house, paying the right price for it. You don't want to lose your shirt. And if you do lose your shirt, RW and Co., rwco.com you can get 30% off usually on all their clothing I love their clothes and you will need the discount because you lost your shirt flipping a house well we don't want that to happen so leave a comment below subscribe hope you enjoy the video and if you're going to do a shower system Schluter systems it's like Lego for adults waterproofing check them out subscribe subscribe did you hear me subscribe